What is happening guys? I've got something so, so exciting to show you. Check it out. A new boat. It's here. The Ranger RT-178. Midnight blue in color. I've not named it yet, but I will. 75 horsepower. The troll motor, we're gonna replace. The Lorance unit has already been replaced with a couple of hook nines. Awesome compartments in here. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough, but as you can tell, it is blazing hot in Texas, so we're gonna get it inside first. Uh, then I'll walk through, show you what this boat is all about, show you all the compartments, show you the units I got, but we're gonna do it in the shade. Let's go inside. First of all, just got back from the maiden voyage. That's why I look hot and bothered, because I am hot. Uh, I wasn't necessarily bothered by the fish I caught. And this little uh, Z-Man Pop Shads was the very first bait on the boat that brought a fish in. It's a little deformed right now because it's been sitting in the hot sun. But anyways, numero uno, right there. All right, wow, that just stuck to the trash can. I'm telling you guys, it is so hot in Texas right now. All right, so let me do a quick little walkthrough just so you can see. I'll tell you what came on the boat and what I upgraded. So first and foremost, you'll see right here in the front, I upgraded to a ram mount here for my bow console. It's a Hummingbird Helix 9 that is on here, the Gen 3. And this is just with down imaging. I actually have the matching unit that you'll see back here. It's a Hummingbird Gen 3 Helix 9 as well that is down imaging and side imaging. Eventually, I will upgrade this trolling motor, but right now it is the Minn Kota 45. I will probably upgrade it to the Tarova or maybe the Ultrex, I'm not sure, but I want spot lock. Right now though, they're all sold out. The whole country, everyone is sold out of these motors. Can't get them. So right now I'm rolling with uh, with this one, 12 volt Minn Kota, Minn Kota 45. All right, a couple of cool things though, right up here in the front, you've got your trim up, trim down in your nav lights. Anchor light, nav light, cup holder, a couple things for your tools, and three main compartments in the front as I move backwards, which I should add very quickly. There's both the rod strap here, rod strap there. So helpful to have both. This side can hold about four rods. This side holds about five rods. So ultimately, I can fit quite a bit of rods right here on the deck with me. Okay, also what's really cool is you have a really, really nice cockpit, if you will, done by Ranger here with nice Ranger decal along with range on the back of the seat. So I'll show you in a second, but your three compartments are up here in the front. You've got one on the side that is not lockable, but you can see here, I've got some soft plastics. I'm telling you guys, these are like literally almost melted. Uh, but I've got a cool tub feature there with more soft plastics in the bottom. So the way I currently have this is my drop shot and kind of finesse baits, and all of these are swim baits. So that's currently what this compartment is. Got that there. Right here though, in the center is where kind of all the magic happens because this is where your biggest compartment is. And golly, that thing is hot. If I open it up, I currently have a tub of kind of a bunch of kind of random stuff that I was throwing today. Uh, get those out of the way for now. Uh, but then I've got one box here. I actually just put my whole tackle bag in here which will be easy for when I want to take it out and also do some pond fishing or go fish in someone else's boat. But I figured rather than trying to stack all these up right now, this bag holds them stacked. So I've got uh, four boxes, that makes five boxes, six, seven boxes, uh, and all my stuff just right here. So there's that whole bag of egg zone lures. These are all my big worms. Uh, so I've got my big worms, my, my uh, well, just all kinds of worms. All right, I've also got two more bags of tackle, mainly egg zone lures, and another bag of finesse stuff. So, got all of that there in this compartment. Fits really nicely, but all the tackle in the world. What I, what I have learned that I don't like, though, about this lid is this lid does not have a hinge. So you'll see right now my hand is on it because if I let go, it falls this way, and if I let go, it falls this way and hits the troll motor. So kind of a poor design in my opinion, but that's okay. I can probably put 
an easy little rope hinge right here or even an actual hinge I can connect. So not a big deal. Uh, I mean, what's another 15, 20 bucks, right? Not a problem. All right, what's uh, also awesome, I don't know if you can re lean over and see that from here. Here, I'll kind of show you, is the rod box. I know it's kind of dark in there, but right now I've got, uh, let's see, nine rods in here. Sorry, let me focus. Nine rods, you can see they go down there, individual tubes. Uh, and then I've also got my nav lights in here and also an anchor in here. So a pretty big rod box. This one locks, this one locks, this one does not lock. All right, also what's helpful is a little day box, if you will. So you could throw whatever random supplies. I've got some GoPro cables in here. Uh, another worm that I need to, that's a, a big trick worm that I need to put back where it belongs. Uh, I've got kind of a camera stand if I wanna to, want to film content out here. And uh, you know, just because I'm such a gracious host, I even have a little box that my guests can put their belongings in for the day when they're on the boat. So. I know, I'm such a great guy. Actually, it's just me saying it, no one actually says it. Uh, okay, so day box, this is not lock, but got a nice Ranger decal right here. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but uh, I know it's kind of dark in here, but a nice Ranger decal. This is midnight blue, the whole boat is midnight blue. Pty cool. So, all right, moving back to the middle, the cockpit, the seats. This boat actually came with three seats. You can upgrade this to a coin box. Uh, it is an additional charges upgrade. Kind of just depends on your preference. This particular boat came this way. I got a great deal on this boat, so I kind of took it as is with the exception of upgrading this Hummingbird. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But uh, this actually is, is probably what I would have preferred for me because I have a family of five and three kids, and there's times they're gonna wanna come with me. So this folds up to make another seat here. Uh, and then also folds down for a nice step to step up to your back deck. So what's really cool though is underneath the seats you got more storage. So I've got a life jacket under there. And I've got tools and another life jacket over here. Uh, here in the middle, uh, I'll sit down for a second. You've got a cup holder, cup holder, handlebar for your guest. Uh, up, on the, up on the dash, we've got mile per hour, we've got fuel. We've got trim, in case you don't want to turn around and look. You've got your trim noted here. And then you also have your RPMs. Now, one thing that I'll show you, you see both the Lowrance and the Hummingbird. The Lowrance is actually, this is literally just taped on here. Like I can pull this off. The, the only reason why it's here is because there's a hole in the dash where the wiring kit was done. And this will be taken off and I'll sell this because obviously the Hummingbird is what I'll be rocking with. Now the Hummingbird, however, the mount, literally the bracket that goes right here on the dash is out of stock. Again, I'm telling you guys, it's been horrendous trying to buy all this stuff during COVID, but it's out of stock. And so I've got to wait for the mount for the Hummingbird to go here, but I'll likely keep the Ram mount because then I can take this Ram mount and use it for GoPro mounting, etc. cetera. But uh, we got a horn, awesome. Got a bilge pump, an extra switch if you want to wire something in there. Uh, what do we have over here? We have our interior lights, which is just a nice little light underneath your feet. Uh, nav lights, and then also your uh, live well, which today I utilized because I caught a massive, massive fish that I put in a live well. You'll have to go see in that other video. So uh, then down here, uh, you've also got another switch, so manual switch for your live well, and then your 12 volt, this is your fuse panel. Obviously your trim up and down, forward, reverse, and now let's take a look at the back deck and then we'll wrap this up because I'm sweating like crazy. Okay, back deck, four compartments. We're gonna blow through these really quick because they're not that interesting. But this one does not lock, but more soft plastics. I will end up using this for something else. I will likely put another box over it so that I've got kind of a two tier system there. Your live well is pretty cool. Uh, again, used it today, but it is a split live well if you needed to, or if you take this all the way back, you can pull this out. And it can be one live well for those massive fish at Lake Fork. The other compartment on this side is identical to that one. No sense in opening it. And then last is your engine compartment. Right now there's two batteries. I will soon have three when I upgrade that trolling motor. They'll drop in another battery here. I've got a dual charger in here, which is helpful because literally when I back this all the way up into the garage, I just pop this out. 
plug it right in and it charges my batteries for me. So pretty darn slick. That is pretty much it. I've lost like five pounds just in this video. That's pretty much it with the exception of this bad boy, 75 horsepower, Mercury four stroke, it is actually the biggest engine that you can put on this vessel, which I forgot to mention is 17 point, I mean, actually rephrase that, 17 feet, eight inches, so 17 and a half foot, aluminum Ranger RT, 178, with a 75 horsepower motor. I've actually not yet cranked it up and fired up this motor. Today we literally just trolled around about a 20 acre lake, caught a lot of fish, you're gonna check out that video and get ready for a lot more awesome videos in this boat. I'm so pumped about this, even though I look like like a wet dog right now because I'm so hot. Uh, should have probably planned this to do this video some other time, but I'm so pumped about this boat. I've, I've been wanting and dreaming of a bass boat for so long, and my beautiful, gracious wife, who's holding the camera right now, allowed me and said yes and allowed me to go buy this boat. Uh, but of course, I'll take her out and she'll be able to catch fish too. So, I mean, it's, it's basically for both of us. But anyways, all right, guys, that is a wrap. That's it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. Stay tuned for more awesome videos because the content is only going up from here as we're going to get out, rock this ranger on some awesome lakes on the DFW and Metroplex and even Oklahoma. So until next time, if nobody told you today, God loves you and so do I. Peace out.